Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial with Android Studio. In this episode, we are going to learn about another important Android view component called the list view. So the list view display some list of items as a scrollable list view. So here I am going to create an Android application that will demonstrate how to place a list view and how to handle the click events of a list view. So start a new project in Android Studio. First we have to specify we have to create the GUI for the application. So here I am going to place a list view. Specify the width as match parent, height as wrap content. Also we have to specify an ID for the list view. So specify an ID using ID attribute. I specify the ID as list to view. Okay. Now look at the design. Now we have a list to view available on the activity main.xml file. Now we have to add some data, some list of items into the list to view. So go to the main activity.java file. Create an array. Name the array as Android versions. Specify the different versions of Android. Now you have to put all these items in double quotes. Okay, now we have an array that will contain different versions of Android. Now we have to specify, now we have to display the different versions of Android in a list view. So we have to declare, we have to define an object of list view. So here I declare an object of list view. Now we have to initialize this object. So list view equal to find view by id r dot id dot. The id name is list view. Okay and typecast this one into list view. So now we have to add this data, this list of data into the list view. So we need an object of adapter. In Android a lot of adapters are available. You can use different adapters based on the source of data. For example if the data source is a string array you can use array adapter and if the data source is database you have to use cursor adapter instead of array adapter. So here in this case we got the data from an array so we have to use array adapter. So here I am going to create an object of array adapter in handling with the string and I name the object as adapter. Now we have to initialize this array adapter object. So adapter equal to new array adapter. The first argument is the context object. I pass this as context object. The second argument is the layout for each row of data in the list view. So here I am going to use an inbuilt layout, inbuilt resource available on the Android system. So Android dot r dot layout dot symbol list item 1. The symbol list item 1 is a layout available on the Android system. And the last argument is the data source. Here the data source is the string array. The array name is Android versions and specify that thing. Android versions. Okay. Now we have the adapter. Now we have to connect this adapter to the list view. So specify the list view object and call the method called set adapter and specify the adapter name. Now we complete the coding for displaying a simple list view that will display the different versions of Android. Okay, now we can run the application. So now I am going to run the application. So click the run button. Okay, now we have the application available on the virtual device. Now this layout contains the different versions of Android that will available on a list view. 
So now we have to learn about what will happen if the user click an item on the list view. We have to handle the click events of the list view. So you can use the set on item on click listener for handling the click events of the list view. So here I am going to create that one list view dot set on item click listener. Okay, this interface contain a method called on item click. And here I am going to display the selected item using a toast. Get the base context. And you can get the item from these arguments. Here we got the position and here is the adapter view. So you can get the item using the adapter view object and the position argument parent dot get item at position and specify the position. is selected okay and finally you have to specify the length of the toast I name it as specify it as long now display the toast using show method okay now we can check it again so now I am going to run the application again. Okay, now we have the application available on the virtual device. So now I am going to select an item. I select honeycomb. So honeycomb is selected. Now I select KitKat. KitKat is now selected. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.